Matt McCall is out with a new stock teaser. And this time he claims to have figured out the stock that will finally launch the electric car revolution. He claims one company will enable Elon's $1,200 car to come to fruition, and whoever invests in this company can get gains as high as 1,000%. Of course, Matt wants you to pay him to learn the name of this stock, but I have good news. He left enough clues in the presentation to figure it out, which I'll reveal below in this video. Additionally, I'll give you information on the stock so you can determine if it's worth investing in. Also, make sure to click the link in the description under this video to check out Insider Weekly. It's the best stock picking service out there and is only $1 to try. Let's get started. Before I reveal the stock, let's break down the teaser. In this teaser, Matt is using the heading, Elon's $1,200 car and he obviously isn't hinting at the cost of EVs dropping to that price. Instead, it's a hint at how EV cars will work in the future. Instead of picking your car's upgrades when you buy them at the dealership, you instead pick what you want through a subscription. You'll pick and choose the car features you want, and that will cost up to $100 per month or $1,200 per year. The reason car manufacturers would do this is because electric vehicles cost more to make. And McCall believes car companies will be looking for ways to increase revenue to offset the price of making these cars. And one company that McCall believes will help do this is Borg Warner. Borg Warner is a prominent player in the automotive industry, specializing in the development and manufacture of technologies that drive the world's mobility forward. The company is actively participating in the industry's shift toward electrification and sustainable mobility solutions, aiming to create a cleaner and more energy efficient world. They have pledged to reach carbon neutrality by 2035 and are committed to innovation and sustainability in their operations. The company has a significant focus on the electric vehicle, EV, market, positioning itself as a partner in electrification and propelling the transition to e-mobility. They have a global presence, allowing them to customize solutions across the world, adapting to various stages of the e-mobility transition. Financially, Borg Warner is making strides in the EV market expecting its 2023 electric vehicle sales to reach $1.5 billion to $1.8 billion, a substantial increase from $870 million in 2022. They are on track to achieve approximately $4.3 billion in electric vehicle sales by 2025. This growth is part of the Charging Forward initiative, which includes focusing on organic and inorganic opportunities in the EV sector. They have also made commitments to reducing their environmental impact, including a promise to cut their absolute scope 3 emissions by at least 25% by 2031 from a 2021 baseline. Moreover, Borg Warner is expanding its technology offerings, such as supplying 800-volt silicon carbide-based inverters for a major OEM and providing innovative battery cooling plates to a major German vehicle manufacturer for the next generation of electric vehicles. Borg Warner's history spans over 130 years, during which they have been a transformative global product leader. Their current mission is to accelerate the world's transition to e-mobility and contribute to building a cleaner, healthier, and safer future, which they are actively pursuing through their investments and product development in the EV market. Borg Warner, a major player in the automobile component and systems industry, has several advantages that make it an attractive investment opportunity. As a global entity with a workforce over 50,000 strong and a presence in 22 countries, the company has established a significant footprint in the automotive market serving a diverse range of vehicle markets including light vehicles, commercial vehicles, and aftermarket services. The company has been a pivotal force in the automotive industry's shift towards e-mobility and sustainability, earning recognition for its efforts, including the Newsweek Award for America's Most Responsible Companies of the Year, for three consecutive years. This reflects a broader industry trend towards energy-efficient and environmentally friendly vehicle solutions, which Borg Warner has been actively supporting through its product offerings. Financially, Borg Warner has demonstrated solid performance. In its annual earnings report for the fiscal year 2021, it reported record sales of $14.8 billion and a significant increase in adjusted earnings per share, highlighting a strong recovery from the economic disruptions of 2020. The company also made strategic acquisitions, such as Delphi Technologies PLC and AKASOL AG, to bolster its capabilities in electronic products and electric vehicle battery manufacturing. Analyzing the company's valuation, Borg Warner's stock has been assessed as undervalued, with metrics like P ratio, PEG ratio, and price to book ratio indicating that the stock could yield high returns for investors as it's currently trading at a discount. The stock's P ratio, for instance, is below the sector median, implying that investors could gain more earnings yield for their investment. Borg Warner's financial strength and growth metrics also paint a positive picture. 
With a strong financial health score and consistent profitability over a decade, the company's financial foundation appears solid. Its operating margin outperforms a significant portion of its industry peers. Moreover, the company's return on invested capital is higher than its weighted average cost of capital, indicating efficient value creation for shareholders. Although its debt levels are noted, the overall financial assessment suggests that Borg Warner is positioned to grow alongside the automotive industry's evolution too. Combining these factors, market position, strategic growth, financial performance, and valuation, Borg Warner presents itself as a robust investment, particularly appealing to those looking to invest in a company with a strong presence in the sustainable and electric vehicle sector, and one that is potentially undervalued by the market. Investing in Borg Warner does come with its set of challenges. The company's balance sheet has expanded post COVID 19 without a proportional improvement in returns, suggesting that the investments made have yet to yield expected benefits. This could be concerning for investors looking for immediate gains. There is also the issue of increased debt levels and high inventory, alongside worsening working capital requirements, which could impact financial flexibility. Moreover, the automotive industry's shift to electric vehicles, EVs, brings uncertainty. Borg Warner's profitability in the EV market, which is increasingly competitive, is not guaranteed to match that of the internal combustion engine market, especially as regulations and consumer preferences rapidly evolve. Additionally, the performance of Borg Warner in the past decade shows a declining trend in economic profit, implying that the capital invested has not been generating the expected returns. This situation is compounded by external factors like the chip shortage and geopolitical tensions, which have further affected the company's performance negatively. Despite Borg Warner's strategic acquisitions to strengthen its position in the electric and hybrid vehicle markets, there is still a risk associated with how quickly and effectively these new assets will contribute to the company's growth especially considering the transition period before the ban on new internal combustion engine vehicles takes effect in regions like the European Union. These factors indicate that while Borg Warner has long-term potential, there are significant near-term risks and uncertainties that investors must consider. That's the end of my overview of this teaser. If you're interested in investing in any of the stocks in this video tell me why in the comments. Also, make sure to click the link in the description under this video to check out inside a newsletter. It's by far the best investing newsletter on the market and they are crushing the market these last couple of years.